welcome back. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. So as you can see, a little bit of some festivity going on for Christmas in the constrictor chamber. And not that it really matters to the snakes, but it does look kind of cool and kind of Christmassy. So um, we're just gonna hang out for a little bit, look at some snakes, and we're gonna feed uh, three. So we're gonna feed the Burmese, we're gonna feed Pop-Tart, and we're gonna feed the Black Mexican King Snake. And she's doing very well, which I'm very happy about since I've already lost two king snakes. I lost her sibling and then I lost my very first snake that I ever owned after seven years. So that definitely sucked. Um, I'm not very good, obviously, with the king snakes. So I'm really glad that she is alive for now. Um, and I was pulling out a bunch of rats and I was stalling some rats out. And we'll just take a look at uh, the berm. So... Peaches, it's a pearl Burmese python. She is two years old, and I've gotten messages from you guys that say uh, she's super small and I don't feed her, but I promise you and I assure you that she eats very well, um, appropriate sizes, and she is growing. I do have a nice size rat for her right here. So these are mediums. They might be on the smaller side of the mediums, but I would say they're mediums nonetheless. And we're trying to coax Pop-Tart out just a little bit so she can come this way, uh, so I can feed her. I've already changed out her water dish, uh, cleaned it. I need to refill it and put it in there, but since I'm gonna feed her, um, I really didn't want that in there, just to show you guys. But, you know, I say this all the time and it doesn't change the fact that she's still young. Um, but, you know, multiple times a week I'm changing out her water, which is fine. I have no problems with that. It, it does take a little bit of work, but um, hopefully when she gets older I have, a, I have a better system. I need to put a drain on this. or um, I did buy a pool pump like siphon, and it didn't work that well because the whole thing had to be submerged. It was a pretty high pump, or a pretty big pump, and... Um, I normally don't fill this all the way up with water just because I'm changing it like two, three, four times a week. Um, she's, she really just sits in the water just to poop. Like she really is not in there very much just to, just to hang out or swim around. Um, so a couple snakes are in shed. This dude right here is going into shed. Just started going to shed. Uh, the mu- or the uh... The Guyana Redtail, she just started to go into shed today, so her eyes are starting to get a little foggy. And that's exciting because she's growing and she needs to grow. Uh, I've been feeding her when weans forever and you know anything above a weaned is too big for her and makes me a little bit nervous on feeding her. This uh VPI jungle looks amazing uh, as a baby. And the one thing that I've noticed about the VPI stuff is they look better and better as they get into the adult uh, size. And it kind of, they kind of change colors a little bit, which is, which is pretty, pretty cool. This lady right here is just a regular pied. Uh, she's in shed, so pretty excited about that. And who else really fast before we... So I just cleaned his cage out and I do have his hide so it's not in here. But the Orange Dream Leopard Enchi Pied, it's a male. So this dude will do some work next year with either the regular Pied or the uh, Black Pastel Pied. So super exciting. Um, everybody else is doing really well. Cleaning lots of cages. So let's go ahead and it is a mess in here. I've been cleaning and let's feed the burn. So, I mean, they're both the same size, so it really doesn't matter. So you can see like right here that this is the same size as her body, if not a little bit bigger. So that's really, whoa. So that's really what I go off of. Okay, a little hungry. So she eats very well. And she, she's never refused a meal for me. Um, I know a lot of people do like the pump. 
I'm not saying this negatively, but a lot of people do like to feed their berms where they do leave a very large lump in them. That's fine. I don't do that. Um, I have no reason to pump her full of food. I probably would like to breed her at some time, um, but obviously that's in the future. I don't even have a male. If I would, I would like to get ivories I, or blizzards. I think I could, I need to look at it again, but it's either ivories or blizzards if I put a pearl to a pearl um, because it's the hypo and the albino and I would like to make the super hypos and then the albinos as well. But um, we'll just see what happens with her. Beautiful colors on her and we'll just watch her eat whenever she um, gets to that point. And then what's crazy is Pop-Tart will be three in a couple of months and this is, like I said, a medium rat. And the medium rats really are not that that big for her. So it's just crazy to me that not even a three-year-old snake, she could probably she could probably do larges. But if I were to give her a large rat, I really think I would not. I think I would do a large rat once a month. I don't know though maybe three weeks. I'd have to see how she does with it. Uh, how long it takes for her to, to digest it and stuff like that. So she is big, so, but she's not really thick. So we'll see what happens. We'll try to get her attention a little bit. She does love food. But the one really cool thing about her is she's very sweet and very docile where I can, I always hook her just to make sure because anacondas, no matter how nice they are, they can be a little weird sometimes if you startle them. So I always touch her or tap her head with a hook. And I know I'm rambling right now, but I tap her with a hook and I can, I can pull her out. And she is very well on knowing what is food and what is um, me. You know what I mean? Or, or a human. And not to have a feeding response. Now she is a little... Uh, she's still a baby. So we'll see how, how that is when she gets older. So I would like to have her out. But I don't want her to get wrapped up in the lights. So we'll just move those. I like her out a little bit more. So her body is... Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm really bad at judging what items snakes should eat because I'm always fearful about overfeeding them or feeding them too big of a meal and then they regurgitate and then with my luck they would die. But this is obviously you know could fit in her her the size of her <laughs> very easily. So I might try to go with a I'll see if there's bigger mediums. I don't know. Like I said, it's just it just stresses me out trying to figure out what a good size is, but you can see how thick she is. And she's not massively thick, but she does have a good size on her. And she's probably gonna strike on this pretty, pretty good. I would like to swing this around, but if I put this up to her body right now, my arm is definitely exposed to her and she would probably mess me up. Not on purpose. There we go, here's the strike, you can see her. Her neck muscles tense up and boom, there we go. So, I mean, you can see a little bit right here. Yeah, I, th I think she still needs, I think she needs, I think she definitely needs uh, a bump up on the food. So that'll be, so 2022, she's going to get more food and she should skyrocket on her size. And this lady right here. We'll see what happens, but that's a good size. Like her jaw is definitely um, pretty expanded. But like I said, personally, it makes me nervous. And I've, I haven't, maybe it's cause I don't own, I've never owned big snakes. I've never messed around with them. I've never, I mean, I've never held a big snake. Like the biggest snake that I've ever held was either Pop-Tart or my Argentine. <laughs> so I am going in this blind. Uh, I mean, I can look around on the internet and ask people, but, you know, most of the people want big anacondas or big berms, you know, 10, 12, 14 footers at three years. So 
I'm far from that. Again, not judging, but I would just like my snakes to be uh, well off, well into the future. So I do have a lead on a male anaconda. Um, so I'm gonna try to work out the details on that. The pricing on anacondas have skyrocketed. So it's kind of depressing um, on that because I was I thought they were, you know, I, I mean, I got Pop-Tart and Mountain Dew for really good deals, you know, two years ago. And within the two years, they've gone up from, from I, I would say, reputable breeders. Um, I mean, compared to what I paid for Pop-Tart and Mountain Dew, they've gone up like 600 bucks um, or more, depending on who you buy from. And it's just this kind of like, it's kind of a bummer. But I got Pop-Tart and I got uh, Mountain Dew from people who, not big names. I mean, they, you might hear about them, you know, floating around on the internet, but they're, they weren't Nerd. Um, they weren't Megan. They weren't um, any of these other big time people that normally breed anacondas. So, and they're doing very well. I did have a little issue with uh, Mountain Dew, but... That, that has nothing to do with the, the breeder or what happened. It's just kind of a fluke. Uh, you know, animals get sick. So she got sick. She's doing better. And I know you guys are probably not. Well, I don't know. If you're still here, let me know. Still watching them eat. Um, if you're new to the channel, maybe you'll, you'll subscribe. I do appreciate all of the support from everybody that comes to the channel. Um, definitely the people that have gone out of their way to... Um, you know, donate a little bit on the Patreon or on the, the channel member. Uh, it's only like two bucks or five dollars or, or something, but it means a lot and, you know, it, it goes straight back into the animals. So, yeah, I mean, I do appreciate it from you guys a lot and we'll see what happens um, in the future with, with breeding. I really would like to uh, to breed, maybe do a giveaway on a baby or something like that for for the support but you know I'm, I'm still a little bit of waste from that I gotta build up the babies and, and feed them right and all that so she's all wrapped up weird so we really can't see what's going on but maybe I can touch her a little bit <laughs> there we go so that I mean you can see the mouse I mean mouse just squished down because they have a lot of fur on them and I just unplugged the lights Alright, so I plugged the light in, and while well, I'm messing around with that, two seconds later, she's already eating it. So that is a lump right there. That's a big lump, and it makes me a little nervous. I mean, that's even... Look how fast that's going down her stomach. Wow. So, she's just going to chill out probably and digest that for... A couple of days and I mean that that's a big meal to me and I see people feeding twice the size of that on on a lot of their animals it, again it just makes me nervous and then here's old pop-tart right here and we can kind of see the food comparison to the body it's not that bad though but she I bet she could she could eat a large but I would have to not touch her for a long time. That that's what sucks about feeding snakes, is that we can't interact with them until they uh, until they digest. So that's a big mouthful. Now I don't know if the mouse is bent weird or bent in half. There's no reason her mouth should be that wide on that small of a uh, rat, but. You never know. So that's why I really don't want to give her a large because I don't know. Who knows? But the one thing that I have noticed on the anacondas compared to a lot of the other ones, like the berm or the just the regular other boas, um, and I compare them because the anacondas are in the boa family, um, but her jaw span is 
very, very wide, a lot wider than, you know, my, my bigger common and the Argentine from watching her eat. So, which is pretty cool. Something a little, I guess something a little different. But there we go, down the hatch. So, um, so that, that's not a bad meal. It's, it's always cool to watch the meat. I know this video is kind of you know, dragging out watching the meat, but pretty cool, I think, anyways. And that's it. So, done. Hopefully you guys have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys on the next video.